We're almost there. It's time for the definitive Sankey books to be re-released. Originally published over 10 years ago back in 2012, they've been reprinted after being out of print for quite some time. These are three massive tomes with over 1,500 pages of magic and almost 2,000 photos. That's not all that's inside, but I'll share more about that in a minute. And these books aren't cheap. So in this episode of Erudite Magic, I'm going to give you an overview of what you can expect to find in these three books and hopefully help you to decide if they're for you. Let's get one thing out of the way up front. I work for Vanishing Inc. and this is one of our products. So while I'll attempt to remain unbiased and factual, I want you to be aware that I work for the company that produces these books. But I also want to point out that I bought these books with my own money back in 2016, and I've been enjoying their company ever since. But back to the subject at hand. Jay Sankey became a creative force in magic back in the 80s and 90s after he sent a letter with a tape to Richard Kaufman and was featured in back-to-back one-man issues of Richard's Almanac. He continued his collaboration with Richard Kaufman, who wrote and published some great magic books with Sankey Panky in 1986 and 100% Sankey in 1990. During the 90s, Jay's magical output shifted from the written word to VHS tapes and DVDs with dozens and dozens of videos produced. If you want to see exactly how prolific Jay has been, the full Sankey bibliography is published in the definitive Sankey Volume 3, but more on that in a bit. So how does all of this tie into the definitive Sankey? Well, as you can imagine, with an output that prolific, not everything was a treasure. So you're probably wondering what you can expect from this set of books. Will they provide great magic? Or is it just a lot of filler? Buckle up, let's answer that question. Besides the obvious tricks, you're getting dozens of essays, an interview with Jay, his cartoons as a standalone section, and even a complete bibliography to date through the book's original publication over 10 years ago. All written with sufficient detail to teach you the tricks and supported with photographs throughout. Let's touch on each of these briefly. Essays. Many of these essays are magic related, but occasionally they go beyond magic and help to share his life philosophy. There are three sections of mini essays, as well as some larger essays about a variety of topics like exposure, mixing magic and comedy, etc. This is probably as good a time as any to point out that the material is pretty well spread out through the volumes. As I've already mentioned, each book contains some of these essays. So you don't have to worry about buying a specific volume that either does or doesn't contain what you want. In addition to the essays, there's also a revealing and intimate interview conducted by Gabe Fahuri and published in the pages of Magic Magazine. It's republished in its entirety here. Since these books are very much personality driven and focused around one creator, it's a nice way to get to know him a bit better, understanding his background as a magician and as a stand-up comedian. Josh and Andy did a great job of including so much stuff, even if they didn't agree with it or thought that it hadn't held up to the test of time as well as other items. That means that you as the reader will get to decide what you like and don't like. It's almost all there for you. There are also some Q and A's with Jay sprinkled throughout each volume. Cartoons. These volumes include his work as a cartoonist sprinkled throughout the text. You'll see his own brand of style and humor at work in these cartoons, even though many of them are frankly dark. And if you want to see all of them without going through every page of the book set, you can find the complete collection of cartoons at the end of volume two. Back to the complete bibliography. At the end of book three, the publishers treat you to a complete bibliography of all things Jay Sankey. This includes not only his older book table of contents, but also all of his DVDs up to that time with the tricks, year published, runtime, and even a brief description of the contents. If you're a Jay Sankey fan, then this will give you a way to see what you're missing in your collection. This episode of Erudite Magic is being brought to you by Don's Magic and Books. Don is a great lover of magic books, and that's what makes his sponsorship such a perfect connection for this channel. I'm telling you about all these great books, including the Jay Sankey trilogy, and Don offers them at reasonable prices with fast and free shipping if you reach certain easy-to-meet thresholds in the United States. But not only does he have new books like the Sankey trilogy, he also has older and out-of-print magic books that we all are constantly looking for. So if you haven't already visited his website, do so by visiting the link I'll drop down in the description below, and keep an eye out for some of the treasures that you want to add to your magic library. 
Don has been a partner of the channel for many years now, and that's because he provides such a great and valuable service to all magicians who love books. I don't know what you're waiting for. Check out his website and shop with Don's Magic and Books this week. At the end of the day, though, a collection like this, even with all of these extras, lives or dies by the value of the tricks. So let's talk for a second about the quantity. What are you getting here? Jay is primarily a close-up magician, so the material definitely skews that way. And as you can imagine, there are quite a few card tricks. But there are way more than just card tricks in this three-volume set. There are money tricks, stuff with coins and bills, bar magic with bottle caps, straws, and coffee creamers, magic with matches, pens, finger rings, keys, and even business cards. Along the way, if you find a trick you'll like, you'll be pointed towards similar effects via the connection section at the end of some of the write-ups. Although most of the material is geared toward close-up workers, he does include some stage material, and almost everything could be adapted or play for larger audiences, depending on your setup and venue. Let's talk for a second about the difficulty. In case you're worried about this being only for advanced students of magic, that's not the case. Volume 1 starts off with a guide to some basic slights, and is a good place to begin if you are newer to magic. The basics I'm talking about are things like a double turnover, the riffle force, the slop shuffle, and more. In the other volumes, there are more specialized sections with utilities and slights. For example, his work on the Han Ping Qian move that started it all, and you can find that right up in Volume 3. He has a section on the Tenkai Pinch, and Erdnase Color Change Tricks, which can also be found in Volume 2. So you don't need to worry if you're relatively new to magic. This is a complete offering. So there's definitely plenty of material to make even the most hardened magic book collector happy. What about the quality? As previously mentioned, Josh and Andy understood when they were putting this compilation together that with a body of work this large, not everything is going to be gold. So the definitive Sankey is intended to be a best of. After all, there's a reason they decided to call it the definitive Sankey and not the complete Sankey. To help you discern and process the material, the publisher has provided some tips and tools that are quite helpful. First of all, Every trick, slight, and move in the book has a difficulty rating from one star to five stars. And this is really helpful to make a decision about whether you want to start working on something considering your own proficiency with sleight of hand. But not only that, they polled 10 notable magicians to find out what their top 10 Jay Sankey tricks are, and those are noted within the text in two ways. If a specific trick is in someone's top 10, that's noted at the top of the page on the trick write-up. And sprinkled throughout the text, you'll find each person's total top 10 list. This is a really cool way to quickly find the top of the top material, even though you'll discover your own favorites as you read through. I think much of this material is geared toward the hobbyist due to the volume and the typical venue. However, there's plenty of material used by these professionals, and one of his tricks, Airtight, was good enough to be performed by David Copperfield on one of his TV magic specials. Now, these books are back in print, but there is no new edition. Nothing has been changed from the older printing, and there haven't been any updates. The old version and the new version should be substantially identical. But the one thing that has changed is the price. I bought these books with my own money back in 2016. At the time, each book was $50, and I bought the entire set for $150. Fast forward to today, the reprint has increased in price to $75 each, or $200 for the three-volume set, a slight savings if you buy all three books together. We've definitely seen smaller books with a lot less material sell for a similar price in today's environment of higher production, labor, and shipping costs. But remember, I work for Vanishing Ink, so it's quite possible that I'm jaded but I still see these books as offering a tremendous value to the reader. Each volume is jam-packed with material, magic, slights, utilities, essays, and more. And each book provides a comprehensive table of contents and a complete index to help you find what you're looking for. Each one is crafted with difficulty ratings, top 10 lists, and connections to other effects. While the best deal is obviously to buy all three books, my recommendation is actually that you pick up at least one volume to see if you like it. Read through the table of contents online and decide which type of material appeals most to you. If you like what you read in that one volume, go for another volume until you have all three. Now, of course, if you're a book lover or collector, you may already know you want them all. At the end of the day, I've referenced these books many, many times over the years. 
And while Jay Sankey's magic can polarize magicians, I think a complete set of one of the most prolific creators from the 80s and 90s is worth your consideration. These are fun to read books, but if you want to know the books that are in my top 10 fun to read magic books, be sure to check out this episode. As always, my friends, I appreciate you watching. And until next time, keep reading. Take the cap off and put, uh, write, write something on it.